Hi guys, it's Gloria with Cheap Yummy Shiny. I wanted to go over September's boxy charm. It feels really full this month, like really packed full. And normally it's going to be full because it's all full size products. They don't normally give you sample sizes unless it's uh, something like a bonus. Uh, so I'm not surprised, but it still feels uncommonly full this month. So let's go ahead and start out with the first product and it's nicely bubble wrapped. I love the sound of bubble wrap, even if it's not being popped. It feels good. Sounds good. It's like, mm. anyway, so this one is Studio Makeup On The Go Palette. Um, it says it's a combination of shades that updates the bare beauty look with a cosmopolitan attitude with this travel size palette. You can create the prettier urban makeup look and ghost view from day to night. Fair enough. Uh, it says the full size, uh, the price of this is usually $49.95, so $50. They're very pretty. Um, neutral. Uh, a lot of matte, a few shimmers. Here's the first swatch. Going from, oops, going from light to the middle with the copper. Uh, the only one that doesn't seem to be fairly pigmented is um, that sort of me one of the medium browns. The others seem pretty pigmented. And here is the second set going from that peach down to the black. The two that weren't looking like they swatched really nicely is this one and this one, but these are really more blending colors. So um, perhaps it's just, again, because of my skin tone. A great deal though. So, you know, these are nice and you get it in your BoxyCharm included. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, we're going to go, ooh, hello. Going to go to Lip Pure from Pure. And uh, this is a full size as always. It says, uh, beautifully bold color and brilliant shine, richly pigmented, lick, lapper, lick lacquer. Ooh, look at this really pretty packaging. I love the sort of satin finish that it has. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a sponge applicator. Do I have any lipstick left on? Let's see. Well, I have a little lipstick left on. I've had this makeup on since this morning from work, so let's see if we can... You know, it always takes a while to prime these little suckers up. But it's still really pretty. You know, like it's cool. I like applicators and things like that. I just find them that uh, if, like me, you have a million, not a million, but a lot of lipsticks and things like that, it's not as sanitary, you know, because it just maybe sits there and holds stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's made out of antibacterial stuff. Okay, now for nothing. That is creepy. Creepy. Am I right? Am I right? Kind of makes me not want to put it on my face. There we go. It's a nice dark color. Perfect fall color. No lip liner. No. Paying attention with smeared lipstick from the previous color on my face. That's just beautiful. Gosh, I am so good at this some days. All right, well, I messed that up. It's okay. <laughs> I look like the little girl is trying on mom's makeup right now. All right. Right off the bat. Wow. I need to blot a little bit. I've had this on for many, 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 many hours and it's hot in here. Um, off the bat, this is a beautiful color perfect fall color. I've seen a lot of these colors um, coming out for the fall this year. I've seen a lot of very dark sort of vampy colors in again. Um, so perfect, perfect, you know, sort of, 
this honestly is going to be probably something I'm going to keep in my purse um, in case I need to change my look. Like let's say I'm at work or I go out and I realize it's a little more evening-y than I thought or I want to, you know, glam it up a little bit. I can just throw this on. Um, my first thoughts about the applicator, it's not my favorite, but on the other hand, it hadn't entirely primed. So maybe that's why I had a little trouble because I'm used to just like, you know, free handing my lip line and that was a little harder. But again, I think it's just because the sponge applicator maybe wasn't as primed. But the color is lovely. It doesn't really have much of a smell or a taste, which doesn't matter unless it's gross, in which case it matters a lot. But it feels good. It feels very creamy and uh, obviously looks a bit glossy. I don't know if obviously what the wear is going to be. Uh, it does not say that it's a long wearing. It doesn't feel like a long wearing, but it's really pretty. So I like it. Yay. All right, let's go for the next one. Some more Hikari. That looks like it's been open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boxy, boxy. So this one's in Raven. Good. It's black. Uh, oh, it's still sealed, so I'm not worried. So let's see what this... Ooh. These are nice. It's very creamy. It went on really creamy. And really beautifully. It's one of those non-sharpen eyeliner pencils. Um, it went on really nicely. And it smudges really dark. Look at that. Huh. That might be fun to play with. All right. Add to my eyeliner collection. Because, you know, I don't have enough. Um, awesome. Next one is Butter London. You know what that means. That means more nail polish to add to my 300 some odd polish collection. That's not too many, right? Oh, hey, this is a beautiful neutral. Look at that. It's a gorgeous neutral. Uh, this one is in Yummy Mummy. Yummy Mummy. Oh, that's Yummy Mummy. Mummy, it's yummy. So, really pretty. I like that. That's really color. And Butter London. I mean, it's not cheap. We all know how much Butter London costs. Uh, they're listing it at 15 Yeah, that's about right. $15. That's awesome. All right. And then last but not least, we have Project Beauty Hair Girt. This, <laughs> it's a smoothing yogurt hair mask with prebiotics, quinoa, and super botanicals for beautiful hair, sulfate, and paraben-free. Is it? Silicone free. Do, 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 do. Ooh, it, mm. Well, it does ammo. It has ammo dimethicone, but I'm pretty sure that ammo dimethicone is the one that breaks down pretty quickly. Oh, that's not one of the bad ones. That's not one of the heavy silicones. It's one of the light silicones. So I would be willing to use this. It says um, shampoo hair with the shampoo, which they didn't give that's okay and then apply hair girt from roots to ends leave it oh it's a deep conditioning leave in for five to ten minutes rinse thoroughly okay it smell it does smell oh my goodness it smells delicious oh is it strap yeah it's it smells like strawberries and bananas like real strawberry like Maybe the tiniest hint of fakey strawberry, but not much. Like, it's pretty good. It smells yummy. No idea what it's like for your hair, but it says that it is $11, which is, you know, not bad for a, a hair product. Total win. This is a big load of product, and it's good stuff. This is the second month that they've given these little travel uh, palettes. These are awesome because I have my Z palettes, but they're the ones that I usually have for work and they have kind of a big range of colors. But when you're traveling, I mean, as much as you'd like to have your whole kit, you really don't need to have a full range of colors. A palette of neutral will get you through a, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month of trip, and you can still do different colors, still different looks. So I have this, I've got the, um, the blush and contour palette from last month. I wonder what it's going to be next month. 
they're basically going to set me up for going on trips. I get it. I get it. Boxy charm. I'm supposed to go out on vacation for once, right? Like the one time a year going to see mom isn't enough. No, no. Okay. So I guess that means I have to take a proper vacation at some point, especially since it says Miami, Paris, London, Accra, Accra, Chicago, been there. Hanoi, not been there. New York. Oh, have I been in New York? Have I been in New York? I don't remember. All right. So that's it for this month's September's Boxy Time. Thank you very much for joining me. Remember, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, YouTube, obviously right here, and WordPress. I'd love to hear from you. Click subscribe and, of course, uh, click like. And if you'd like, share it so people know what we have in this month's box. I'm really enjoying it, um, and uh, it's almost autumn. I'm excited. I hope that you're going to enjoy the last few days of summer. It's hot here. It's about 10 degrees above normal uh, by about Thursday, and then it should cool down for the weekend. So here's to getting that one last beach day in before you pull out the sweaters, the jean jacket, and your scarf. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching me. I will have a weight loss update. I didn't do one this past uh, week weekend, by the way, and I am sorry, but I was out of town. I was at this convention. I had no way of really posting anything unless I posted a raw video, and um, I didn't particularly eat well or anything like that while I was there, so I definitely gained a pound or two, but that might also be from sodium bloating intake, but we'll get to that later. All right. Thank you so much. Mwah.